Oh God, it's got to be him you're thinking of, right? I, th I thought oh, you he was. Yeah, you I thought weren't was... even thinking of Blade. All right. Yeah, yeah, I didn't see the Blade video. How's he doing now? I assume he's turned it around. He was sober when he was on the show. Yeah. No. We talked about <laughs> the video last week. Remember, like, like the one where he's dropping the end bombs and telling his chick to go oh. get him some Kit Kats because they're scrumdiddly umptious. <laughs> he well, looks like another... he had a stroke. We talked. I couldn't watch it though. I, was mm -hmm. I producing the show or something? It, there was like this. Don't play it. You were thing. gonna play it for your like microphone, and he's dropping oh, the end bomb. Right. Like he's calling his girlfriend the n word. Like like, <laughs> and uh, and I'm not talking about Renegger. Like like he's calling her the real the N -word. real one. The bad yeah, one. and and uh, like like, and she's just like, don't call me that. He's like, you do it, you n word. And like, <laughs> you go get me some Kit Kats because they're scrum diddly umptious. <laughs> well, and it's... don't you take my fucking Cadillac. <laughs> He it's got similar a blowy video, and fingered his girl this week. Well, I didn't see any any video of a an alleged fingering or a blowy, but I did see them both using the N word a lot again. Seemingly, they just it's a pastime of theirs. And then like, <laughs> and then she was like, like being like, "You want me to blow you?" They're both just absolutely. He is just beyond gone and like she clearly she like goes down below the camera where i could see on the little clip and she's like trying to suck his dick and he's sitting there like not with it at all and she's like you gotta you gotta spread your legs you gotta spread your legs so i can suck your dick and then she's uh, no you I don't guess, i guess it wasn't gonna get hard for her surprised. you're sitting on your dick again <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah that's uh I started to second rough. guess myself. It's like, no, I know how to receive a blowjob. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about where your penis is. Your legs can be together. They can be apart. It's, it's incredibly yeah. personal. <laughs> we talk about how rough Blade's life is. Not as yeah. rough as it's the lady who's sucking Blade's dick on a live. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 there's levels. You know, you, you ever hear that? There's levels of this shit. Well, yeah. there's yeah. levels of this shit, and. <laughs> That's when I heard the f the first video described where he was calling her a uh, n word. I thought, I wonder if she's falling out of love. And then as I hear the second video described, aren't they just the greatest couple? That's yeah. a pet name. They share. Yeah, that's what that really is. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, little N. <laughs> Show me that pet cat, you Aunt Jemima looking <laughs> whore. <laughs> Everyone around him's like, yeah, we're at, <laughs> we're at Walmart. No. <laughs> I'd be okay at Walmart, dude. Like he that. like uh, it's like sad to watch. Like he's, like he's dying, and it's like only accelerating. Yeah, but he's dying very slowly. I I would say it's got to be quick by now. I would imagine he's only he's he's a year older than you. Yeah, one year. Yeah, and like. You, if you were in his health situation, you wouldn't be like, ah, deteriorating slowly. Oh, there'd be alarm bells fucking ringing. Yeah, yeah, but 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 still, like like he's got another good twenty five years. We're so tough. The human body's so resilient. Like you see these people all the time who have spent decades abusing drugs and alcohol and living the worst kinds of lifestyles, and get rid of that. <laughs> and, and then they'll. <laughs> and, and, oh no! Don't do that. Um, <laughs> Oh no, and uh, and uh, and you know they they tough it out. The human body's so goddamn resilient. Like you can just take it. You can just take it. It's good. It it has so many systems that are meant to process poison. That's what your liver and kidneys. So what are you're for. saying is, if he were to stop, switch to chicken and broccoli, he'd be fine. If but he I were to stop and get on a healthy diet and drop the alcohol and walk, you know, ten thousand steps a day for a year, he would look like a completely different human being. Now that's true, but like if he doesn't stop the the abuse like i feel like a lot of these progressive diseases like it'll be kind of slow down for a while and then there's a precipice of like yeah your liver's dead well your, i don't think he has a disease dead. like like he doesn't yet have any disease particular other than alcoholism if you count that yeah. but that's where but the I, um when he was rotting do, with that toe thing and, mm. and the doctor was like you're gonna lose you i can just take it now the doctor said gangrene okay i, I was like you're on the edge of a permanent thing if they take your toe off, they won't ever put it back on. Like yeah. that's that's it. If you lose your foot, it's gone for good. So much of what he has <laughs> only is just like blade legs. <laughs> <laughs> We've made that joke before. Fuck. Uh, no, well, that's why it seemed familiar. Not damn. So much of what he has is just a stop doing it away from from disappearing. You know, like 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 obesity or something. Like yeah, just 
fix your diet and, and that actually disappears and it's like you weren't used to be fat anymore mm -hmm. but uh, he's on the edge of something permanent i guess yeah i, I would imagine so like Ooh. maybe kyle's right you, you never know if it's a uh, like what extent the damage is but like just like we, you know when you see someone like where their arms like there's no musculature there and yet yeah. the 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 tub in the front is like so distended. It's like literally what this is a deep cut, but in O and A, it's exactly what Lady Di looked like before she lost her mind and forgot who she was with wet. Yeah, brain. yeah. You know, it's it it affects different people differently as well. Some True. people just have a genetic uh, predisposition to um, to the point where like they can just take it. Like like Ozzy Osbourne, they've they've tested his uh, genome or whatever, and they found that like holy shit, this guy's actually genetically. Uh, resistant to like the damage caused by like narcotics and and alcohol abuse. I mean, he's still mm -hmm. fucked up, but he should be dead. Is, yeah. is the whole thing. And uh, some people are the on the opposite of the spectrum. Like my grandfather died at 35 years old of cirrhosis of the liver. How much um, was he drinking? Do you know? My well, see, he he was a bootlegger, so he made his own alcohol, mm. and uh, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that they used to filter that, um, not filter it, but um, distill it, distill it yeah. using old radiators which had lead in them, and so like that probably contributed to it to some extent. Um, that is and, young uh, as can be for cirrhosis, so that yeah, must be some nonsense. My age, my my grandfather died at my age uh, of cirrhosis of the liver, which meant he must have had it for some time, right? It's not like oh, I've got it and I'm dead. It's yeah, like, and it's not like one day he was like, oh, and he keeled over. It was like it must have been like at least a couple years leading up of every time he drank or did drug, right? Maybe not drugs. He just was in like agony and just forged ahead. I guess you know I don't I don't know a ton about like how he died and like the like final days of him. He's a piece of shit, so nobody gives a fuck. Was he a, a true asshole? Yeah, abusive alcoholic, um, philanderer. Yeah, so just. Did he yeah. is uh I'm assuming it's your dad's dad, but dad's uh, dad. Dad did, although mom's dad was just as bad. Did uh did it turn your dad off of that behavior where he was just like, No, I, I will never be like it, that? um no, he um he'll drink uh like socially, um, but uh I think it made him a much better parent. Um my my mm -hmm. dad's always been like very loving, like like um we don't like part ways without telling each other we love each other. Um, you know, you don't hang up the phone without telling each other you love each other. Like, like we've mm -hmm. always been like, we've always hugged and like been super close. And like, if we have some big fight or something like, you know, we'll, we'll sort it out in a day, you know, or, or like real quickly, um, no matter what. Um, so yeah, I think it made him a better parent to like have had it. I think sometimes it goes the opposite way. You know, people who are mm -hmm. abused sometimes end up being abusers for sure. But in my dad's situation, he had this, just piece of shit, abusive, alcoholic father. And he was just like, that ain't going to be me. That's not going to be me. I'm going to be the best dad I can be. And he really was. I, I love my dad a ton. He was just a great, great father. He always has been. See, he uh, took the one generation. He broke the cycle there. Like, I don't, you probably don't know. What it, was your grandpa's dad? Like, probably abusive. Your great grandpa? Not even. Don't know. know anything about them. Yeah. Isn't that weird that, like, for most people, once you're past grandparent, it's like you never existed. It's like you're not in the photo. If you are in the photo, like when I go to my grandparents' house, like there'll be pictures of my grandparents' grandparents with like those fucking like daguerreotypes for like they used like silver eye. Like it's like <laughs> them just standing by wagons in like rural like 1899 or something. And it's like I, I always just like it's like every one of those people had a life. And like they don't even know all the downstems of everything they're doing and how it's going to create families and go and like it really it just echoes throughout history and you just don't you don't think about it you know and like what did they do that impacted their kid which impacted my grandpa which impacted my you know it i don't know maybe maybe people don't think about that no but, i think about that for sure i wish i knew more about like obviously i've done like the ancestry.com thing mm -hmm. that shows like my genetic stuff and and where my people came from in the globe but I don't know anything about their personalities or their lifestyles or their, uh, their, 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 you know, was this guy a cowboy or like, you know, was he a blacksmith mm -hmm. or was he like the town drunk, you know, like, 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 was he like, some, was he an outlaw or was he like a hardworking guy or did he never, did he, was he the town mayor, you know, like, like, you don't know. And I wish I did. It'd be It'll cool. be way different, like in 60 years when it'll be like, I wonder what my grandpa was like. Let me pull up his podcast. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be like, oh, he but, was 
awful. <laughs> it, was, it was terrible. These these are real in 2070. These are very offensive jokes. <laughs> Grandpa <laughs> Baylor was a racist. I don't think you're in a blade situation here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it possible to find that update picture of his foot? Did you guys see it? I didn't know um, there was one. No. Yeah, How, here, you know something? In, here in our Discord, they're always like throwing a link to him in there anytime there's an update. I think I saw a thumbnail, but I thought it was doctored. I, like, I thought I saw a toe sneaky. with a big hole in it, but I have previously been fooled thinking that um, like that they're like, hey, look at this. And like, that was actually from last year. Mm -hmm. So I I don't have proof. Like, I don't I didn't see it myself. On I just don't stream. keep up with him well enough to know like his Me his either. current toe situation. It looked yeah. rough and it looked like I am Mr. All you got to do is have some chicken and broccoli and this thing will turn around. Yeah. Uh, if he were to do that right now, there would always be this hole. Like I could put my thumb in it. If I recall, like it's, it's, you could put a, you know, a, a pencil. It's got the yeah. eraser, then the metal part. Yeah. Like all that would fit in this hole. Nice. Oh, so, so his toe has turned into a, uh, a pill hider for dogs. Yes. Dude. Yes, that would nice. work great. Well, hey, if it falls off, let us know. Yeah, yeah, I got. Woody's got a stubborn dog. <laughs> <laughs> Blade, hook a brother up. <laughs> uh, but, now, 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 here's what I'll say. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and lay this. Oh, wait, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> that image. Why I does it say only use me blade insane. foot? Like what? what <laughs> is this? Uh, uh, take that off! Take it 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 off! <laughs> Why? Because he didn't oh. read all the fucking print. All right. <laughs> did I. Okay. Uh, I all didn't. right. Um. Anyway, uh, I, I I wish him the best, and if it does yeah. fall off by some terrible thing that happens, we at PK would like to purchase the toe. We would like to keep it in a jar, <laughs> and then it'll be like the Stanley Cup, and it'll move from one of us to the other and stay at our desks. What do you guys think that we'd be willing to pay for the severed toe of wing of uh, only use me wings toe hmm. would be more. That's uh, all, this is only uh. use me blades toe. A wings toe. Uh, no, 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 no. Only use me oh, blade. Wings blade toe, toe isn't coming off anytime soon. Wings yeah. uh, only use me blades toe. We're buying it from him? Yes. Oh. I don't know about him, but I would be very averse to selling my own toe. There'd be if, something about that that, that would be very in, invasive. Wings toe, as far as we know, is not about to hit the market. Is this a scenario where the toe I falls want only off? use me blades toe when it falls off, when it has to be amputated right. for medical reasons, and I'm willing to pay five hundred dollars for that toe. Five hundred? Okay. Is that low? I, I it yes. seems well, if it's already falling off, it's useless. It's not even lucky anymore. Well, count well <laughs> counter I mean you, you the bidding is open. You want to get in here and try to outbid me for this toe? I right? just feel like there's someone in the community who thinks 500 is blowballing it. We're starting the... at 500, boys. You know, anybody <laughs> else wants to outbid me 500 bucks for that for that rotten toe? A 510, 525. <laughs> well, <laughs> fuck. That's what I thought. I should have. I should have been like sold. All right, so, so hit up. So hit up Woody <laughs> for your 510 dollars. <laughs> No, I, I wish him the what the best, but uh, I just he doesn't seem to be real focused on getting that uh, looked at or anything. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's interested in it, but it could be that you know a lot of times people won't go to the doctor when they know something's up because like it's a confirmation of what you know, like something you know what I mean. Where it's like, oh, if I if I don't go to the doctor, I won't know anything's wrong, so nothing will be wrong. Would you be? Yeah, I, I could definitely kind of relate to that. Like, like, like it could be. It's scary to go to the doctor, and it's easier mm -hmm. to not go. But, oh my god, <laughs> go! Yeah, <laughs> like, like, like when when uh when that doctor called and like says, oh yeah, it's cancer, and I was like, all right, how soon can we get moving on this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's like, oh soon. Yeah, I'm glad we're on the same right page. page. <laughs> yeah, like, like, you know, imagine if I'd been some like procrastinating piece of Ooh, shit that was afraid the of the doctor, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, then I'll you might have lost more of your... Yeah, eye. this most recent one is a picture of the toe. Kyle, what's your judgment, Taylor? You think we can um, show that gore? Uh, no. I'm, I'm grabbing it. Ew! You know? No, Woody and let's, I not, might let's not show that. Woody okay. and I might disagree on how long a man's nails should be, 
but <laughs> no one's on but top only blade. use me blades on another planet <laughs> with, that, <laughs> with that with that thought so here's what i see and look i'm not i'm looking at a weird blurry God picture damn. on the internet but i noticed that a lot of it is white and to me that whiteness i've only seen that on my own feet when like i was in like military boots wet walking mm -hmm. all day like, like when my feet got foot. like like not trench foot but like the first day of trench foot you know what i mean like soggy mm -hmm. foot Something about your feet, like all the callousy material on his toe pad has absorbed liquid. And that's why it's white. And that's what I'm looking at. And then, like you said, that looks necrotic. That looks like his flesh is dying, rotting, and probably smells. So the yeah. fact that he's going to, I'm, I'm going to say it's like 50%. He's going to lose that toe. That's my medical opinion because <laughs> I've never seen a hole rot into a digit like that. That And it look, I, my guess is everything that's white is dead. Mm -hmm. and uh and everything in that hole is dead or, or just dead yeah. there's no blood flow there that's why it's white that i mean look at it it's just it's just a it's a black hole in the toe like of course that's dead that's who knows dead how deep it is like flesh. if you took like a dental tool and like started scratching into the center <laughs> of it like like what's the consistency is it a soup is it like 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 crusty like scabby stuff or is that like pink skin just under that brown spot i don't know it's real I gross, don't know, though. but it he's you got to go to the doctor, man. Well, isn't he limping down the aisle one the day? Thing soon? is, the, <laughs> going to the doctor doesn't solve it. Changing your lifestyle solves it. Now, I'm yeah. not saying I think going to a need... doctor solves it. Like, like I'm listening. What will the doctor do? It's I don't think alcohol is is causing that toe to do that. I think like there's an infection in there. It, it looks like diabetes. he's got an infection. Oh. See, I don't quite understand. So diabetes causes that from blood loss, right? Like there's no blood flow to the extremities. Am I, am I correct in that? I, I think so too. Taylor's usually good at this. I mean, I know that it has like the reason people with diabetes over time, like will lose limbs and appendages is because of a circulation issue. Yeah, and I, it was I think flow. it was like we've said before, like, or we've guessed, I mean, that his diabetes is probably because of the huge amounts of Jaeger. Are we like sure the, he's diabetic? The sugariest to drink. I mean, I, we know no, no, we don't. We don't know for sure. But like these kind of sores, like if you look up a diabetic sore online, that's what it looks like. It's like a, a slow rotting out of places because there's no blood flow. Yeah, Dr. Woody says he's diabetic and he needs a lifestyle change to heal that. I want to put that going to a doctor and having it like cleaned out and prepared to heal won't help at all if he keeps down in the Jaeger. Exactly. Yeah, I think that's I think that's very true. Yeah, there are things the doctor will just fix, like Kyle's eye cancer or my nose cancer. We'll, we'll yeah. fix in a little bit. <laughs> um, doctors, you, you go in there and you leave without cancer. Cool. Then there are other things that you got to fix, and that's where Blade is. I is he still doing episode. his thing? Is he What'd still doing that? his thing? He is. He is. I uh, doesn't have the same distribution that he used to. Now he's on to like YouTube True defenders, TV. and is he on True TV? I always see him like. Talking to Blade and asking about Onisi. That's the last time I've ever heard of him was like, the Blade thing, sitting down. Well, you know. He's on the disgraced YouTubers now. It's a uh, new genre. Man, Blade, who, who, got, who got a worse, uh, a more humiliating beating, Blade or this pedophile? Probably the, the pedophile. That pedophile. Yeah. Because Bla Blade isn't a pedophile, and it's pretty humiliating being a pedophile. Hmm. Uh, and getting beat up. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, but they both had the same sort of, you know what? I changed my mind about all this kind of post hit. Yeah, Blade got hit and he goes, you know what? It was my bad. I was it's wrong. Like, it's like post nut <laughs> clarity. It's post punch <laughs> clarity yeah. where you're just like, oh shit, it just, it just got real for me. <laughs> like, I was in the wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I Dude, was I'm wrong. so sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't kill me. Don't Derek, beat you me. probably don't know this, but there's a guy named Blade. Uh, we all enjoy his company. Nice enough guy, but he's an alcoholic, clearly. And uh, he was super drunk, and he decided to take it upon himself to do two things. One, he hit this guy's girlfriend on the butt hard. Kyle, do you want to go? The, here's the shocking thing about that, Woody. He slapped her ass after getting punched out. Oh, geez. Wait, what? Oh, the video yeah, was edited the border? other way. I have done further research and I have been informed by multiple parties. He slapped, he did that thing where you slap somebody in the back of the head, but he did it to a very big guy. This guy Blade keeps is, a barbell in front of his living room TV. Yeah, he's got his barbell <laughs> in his living room. Like, like, like this really big arms. Re, like, 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 like he, and yeah, he's just built. big guy who's probably working out four or five times a week. This, this alcoholic overweight fellow decides to give him one of those big brother slaps in the back of the head on a live stream 
and big man stands up and pops him in the mouth real fucking hard yeah drills him he slapped his girlfriend in the ass like like minutes later yeah I because he didn't when remember I remember the previous altercation well there probably was a bit of concussion. what's the best diet for someone who drinks 1900 calories a day in Jaegermeister? <laughs> <laughs> what do you recommend asking for a friend <laughs> yeah. the sugariest alcohol there is i would imagine oh. probably fireball or something yeah i bet he yeah, hasn't yeah. had a solid shit in five years yeah. <laughs> that's I would not take that bet. Yeah, I, I, think, I, I think you Does nailed alcohol it. Alcohol make give you right diarrhea? Is that, yeah. Uh, well, it's because it, he, he's not excess. eating food. He's just it's he's just drinking. So like, there's yeah. no solid poops to have. Oh yeah, because he's lost some weight. I remember I complimented him on dropping some body fat, and you told me that I didn't understand some of the dynamics of alcoholism that they lose their uh, hunger. What is the word? I, pull. You know how he, how he is when he's confident. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. Yeah, look at that right there. <laughs> what if pulled, wings he, made it? You said it was up, badly pulled, photoshopped, right? No, not, not and that. And it's bad. in like comic there was no crayon. Sans, not centered under the username. <laughs> like just no crayon. Not close. <laughs> okay, okay. But but it was just this terrible. And, and wings was so quick to like 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 with with a little bit of nonsense evidence to like throw um, only use me blade under the bus. We should never have him on our show again. We should never talk to people like that again. And it's like. That juxtaposed with his current the situation mm -hmm. is one of those million things that makes it so hard to be on his side time and time again. Where oh. like when the shoe was literally on the other foot, he was so quick to judge from like nonsense evidence and like try to like and throw somebody's reputation under the bus as it's being funny, a racist. Like, Only to be blade is a lot of things, but he is not a yeah, racist. Yeah, I was trying not to mention it, those. It seems like most of his friends racist. are black. But uh, Kyle, you sent me that video earlier today, like oh, the compilation of everything, the the Wings <laughs> compilation, and like, the, you're right. Like he, he, Wings will sometimes lash out with no evidence. You know, mm -hmm. not that I've never done that. I've done that many times. But like, usually, <laughs> usually I'm trying to joke, make well, yeah. <laughs> make a meme or something, make a bit. yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah. basically, like I, you sent me that video, and I like my gut reaction to all like like the people calling Wings a pedophile shit is fucked up. Like that's so not true. It's it's really messed up to to put that onto somebody and say that. And when there's no evidence that he did that or is planning to do something like that. But like, so I always have that instinct of like, come on, lay up on wings, take it easy, like stop fucking with him. like he's had his, his share. And then I open this video. Kyle sends me the first like five clips are like, fuck Merka. Merka can go fuck himself. All Merka <laughs> did, all Merka Durka did was show up <sighs> and then steal all the money from the show that I made. That's all Merka Durka did. And it's like five clips back to back of like, he's shooting. It's like, what's that Merka? Fuck Merka Durka. Merka Durka can kiss my ass. He stole my money. And I'm watching that like, <laughs> you know, Wings, I'm I'm kind of one of the guys in your corner, but you're really, I didn't even steal your spot on the show, you fucking retard. I took <laughs> a different guy's spot. It was Lefty, right? Didn't you replace yeah, yeah. Lefty? Yeah. Lefty? It was Lefty. Try, it's been, I've been a host seven years, eight, 2014, I started being a host on this show and he still thinks I took his place. <laughs> Come on. It was two presidents ago. What? <laughs> what, if, on. what if Wings is like that kid that never is always bullied in school, and then he gets to be hall monitor for one day and just uses this tiny bit of power to just shit on everybody? Because Wings gets trolled constantly. He's been oh, trolled yeah. for years. It's honestly not even funny. Like, it's kind of sad. I feel like you just leave the guy alone. Like, he's suffered enough. But then finally, a break. Light at the end of the tunnel. Wings sees the ability to talk shit and troll somebody else and just jumps on it instantly and unloads every ounce of repressed emotions and trolling into whatever evidence or not just going to lash out at somebody. That's my theory. Let me, uh, let me read you an only use me uh, blade paraphrased quote. I wrote it down today that I, okay. I so cogent when you're so fat, you can't, you can't get on an airplane and simultaneously, simultaneously such a small man, you can't get into a Skype conversation to apologize. Wings of Redemption. Ooh. Oh. When you're so fat, you can't get on an airplane and simultaneously such a small man, you can't get into a Skype conversation to apologize. Was this following when... Uh, it has to be an old the, quote because it's about tweet. Skype. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's going to be like, what, pre-2017 kind of? <laughs> yeah, it's, and be a small man for not hopping on AIM it's, uh, and hashing this out. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. No, it's a... Uh, it's so it's, small, it's, I can't get on Jabber. For not hopping on your landline, 
dialing up the wheel and hashing Dude. it through. I don't miss that at all. We're not but that was um, your carrier pigeon, right? <laughs> That was in reference, though, to like you know the the previous thing instance mm -hmm. they'd had where he threw Blade under the bus, and it was like, dude, you ever, you know you always hear that phrase, "You owe me an apology." Rarely do you mean it. Mm -hmm. I feel I feel Blade is literally owed that. You he is like like it's like, hey, you owe me an apology. Like like to this day, I guarantee Wings has never been like, hey, you know, I was wrong in that mm -hmm. moment. Yeah, we've yeah, had Ice on the show yeah. before. I don't know what the fuck he's up to now. I do know that a new picture got posted of Blade's leg, and holy it shit. It looks like a bullet wound. So, there's, so, it's it's help Danny cavernous. Catch so to catch our guest up, um, there's a guy from the Call of Duty com community. Um, his like screen name is like Only Use Me Blade. His whole shtick was he only used a knife in Call of Duty, and that's what set him apart from everybody else. You know, he, he made these Call of Duty commentaries, and he'd stab people only. And it was cool, right? And he's a real chill guy. You know, he, yeah. he's doing commentary and he's talking about his life. And you get to know the guy and you like him a lot. Very likable gentleman. And uh, in later years, when Call of Duty kind of fell out of uh, vogue, he he's he's ended up doing a lot of live streaming. And that sort of lent itself to his other passion in life, which is drinking. <laughs> and people would donate for every shot he took. And oh. that's a terrible thing for someone who's prone to alcoholism. Yeah. And so... He's an overweight gentleman. He's a big guy. Like it's he's not like 5'10 and really overweight. He's like 6'3, six, 6'4 six, or something. He's a big fella, but he's quite overweight and you know, he's living that sedentary lifestyle. Again, I like Blade a lot. I've always had great times with him when we hung out together. He's a funny guy. But he's become what I I can't I, I there's no other way to say it, but an alcoholic and a dangerous one at that. Dangerous to himself, not to anyone yeah. else, I don't think. And he's developed this leg condition recently where it looks like something that maybe diabetics get I, I don't i'm not a doctor at all of course but but he's getting these sores on his shins and and calves that are oozing you were telling me he drank a sugary alcohol like help me he out. drinks jaeger he drinks he's jaeger. a big fan of jaeger so jaeger meister you think that's related to the diabetes like would that be a yeah dude, jaeger has so much sugar in it it can't help I don't know that he has diabetes. I'm just saying they're diabetic like symptoms in, with the with the he has this necrotic flesh thing going on where it looks it. like his legs are dying and rotting away and there are holes in his flesh that ooze pus or or, or fluid of some kind and it's hard to look at. Yeah. And uh and and, and I mean that's and it's um what's the D word I'm looking for? Not debilitating, not degradating it's it's, it's getting degrading. worse degrading I, maybe that's it it's getting worse like i saw pictures of it we'll call it a year ago it didn't look good but it also looked like bruises that maybe i've seen on healthy people too okay cool then i see it a little later and it's like wow actually so this isn't like a normal thing that i see all the time it's rotting in a way that i'm not, not accustomed to and i saw it more recently and it's like whoa how is this guy it seems to have it together in some ways, just so not have it together in regards to health. I'm trying to find the photo of the most recent one now. I'm, I'm coming up short. I'd be curious like, to do that too. Yeah, we, we got to find it. And it's like, it was like what he said, bruises for a while. But the entire time, the lower part of his leg has been discolored, which apparently is like a diabetic thing. And oversized, like, right? Am I, yeah, over yeah. like like almost. And his like urine is so coma. sweet, I can barely take yeah. it. Hey, yeah, I mean, it <laughs> You don't have my and, sugar scent uh, consumption. Yeah. I saw someone's cock sure. named Only Use Me Blade, and I've never tasted better cup. Keep circling back to it. I'll keep being happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the danger, man, of, of being a YouTuber without any really defined talent. Those people who are just on YouTube to be on YouTube, like you guys are gamers, but you developed your radio chops. So now you have other things you're doing. I have some videos where I'm just out having sex with hookers drunk. Nice, by the way. But then I, I try to always be working on my writing and my improv as well. Yeah. Because I never want to be the guy who has to take shots for donations because everything else on my channel is broken down and there's nothing left to turn to. <sighs> where you're just oh, yeah. a clown. It's like, it's like having to eat. That's his leg, by the way. I posted an image. Yeah. yeah the, maybe Woody can show it. it oh, it's a full-on cavity at this point like there's depth to that wound 
that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to see something really disgusting. Oh, I was going to see. Sure. We need you need to see the other side of the leg too, because there's another fat one of those. The, I think it, you should. Keep I, truck at I, I feel like Edgar. you might be looking at that and seeing like it's you know, shucks. Hasn't every child had a scrape like that? You know, did you not have a leg similar to that when learning to ride a bike? No, Speaking no, of, no, uh, no. Oh, we're talking about his problems teeth. that can happen. Yeah, I saw some some pics sent to me of uh, Mr. Blade's teeth, and is this the the steroid using guy? No, no. This is a guy who uh, his like foot is in the process of like it's probably gonna have to be amputated because of like uh, alcohol induced diabetes that's just totally untreated for a long time. Huh. And so, yeah, uh, it's not just limited to the foot. Looks like oh, it definitely teeth. wouldn't be milliliters. By the way, I just I just did some like common sense thought process. I was like, yeah, we're milliliters. No, I already, I already said <laughs> okay, I don't know how big a milliliter is. Like yeah, 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 no, or, like, like, or something. Um, for example, three hundred and fifty-five milliliters. <laughs> no. Kyle, if you like... want to get jacked, you're gonna have to put a can of soda. In your <laughs> it was I've been like, crushing yeah. these diet A and W so good. I got eleven yeah. more in there. I picked up a twelve Me pack. Too. Today. I'm you gonna a crush a couple today. right after this show when I'm eating some turkey. Same. Be yeah, I got a twelve pack today. Yeah. We're not so different, you and I. No, of course not. <laughs> yeah, but these teeth, like, what is that on the top of it? Is that I'll just share. plaque, or is it? Oh, I didn't realize his name like was Blade. Rotten. I saw this earlier, but I couldn't make sense of it. I'm like Blade, like you hit with a knife and a teeth. Like, uh, only fuck? use me, Blade is a play style he did in Call of Duty. He, you know, everyone else is shooting, and he somehow found success with just knives. And uh, that's just been his name ever since, even though he's not playing COD a ton anymore. It's his YouTube channel name. You know, all of his yeah. social media and shit sure. is sort of sending And life's been there. kind to him since then. It looks like. <clears throat> oh, super. He's been so successful. Like, like in it's, it's like he keeps finding new things to excel at, you know? Yeah. Like... Drinking. Drinking and... and Necrosis. What loss? And I think he's probably got the fucking not wasting money, money on toothpaste. Really? <laughs> yeah. This is bad. Oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> yeah, he. That was, like, Woody's, that was Woody's limit. Yeah, he, he's he's not going to kale his way out of this. He's uh, no, he's, no. He even needs to go to the fucking hospital. Even my dumbass realizes <laughs> these teeth aren't coming back with a little George Foreman chicken and some kale. You don't have to show that yourself, Woody, because for a while Yo, this guy does like, enough no, push-ups. I just, <laughs> uh, well, I, he'll just he'll that, a slightly stronger man with rotted teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, for, I, for a while. I, so I, I don't have any background in necrosis. Like, I don't know what's going on there. It looks to me like a pretty, not a mild sore, but like a, a kind of sore that, like, I went yes, hiking fair, with a dude. His current goal is of $20,000, 2500 to destroy his RV. I didn't even notice that until I clicked on this link again. Yeah, that's what he should be focused on right now. Uh, yeah. Presumably after destroy RV is save teeth. I blew an RV up one time for like $87. It's, it's not that expensive. <laughs> so, anyway, sorry, Woody, I didn't mean to interrupt your story. So how did you know him? I've done that. Uh, no, I, I was saying that the necrosis in his feet, to me, I've gone hiking with the dude, right? We went hiking in the Yosemite. When he took his boots off from all the blisters and stuff, it looked worse than Blade's feet. So when I viewed it through that lens, like just the picture of the worst awful blisters ever from hiking – and uh i was like dude that guy healed in like four days right yeah. if blade no obviously blade would take a little while to turn around but if he would just be a healthy guy his injury didn't look that much worse to me than you know five star blisters and the teeth thing though i that's not a normal condition that's not like anything i've seen before jeremy can't yeah. get yeah. hiking yeah Jeremy's, Jeremy's teeth are worse Jeremy's than this like, they're, they're worse really? aren't they fixed? well jeremy jeremy has dentures now Ah, so he's looking good. Mm, they fall out. <laughs> they fall out. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what that like those ridges are in the the close up picture. It's, he's missing that's, the enamel, right? Like that's just gone. I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Looks like look. It looks like he's missing some teeth on the left side toward the upper back area. Like, there's like something going on there. But I would say he needs help. Which picture? And the are lower you? back. I, I want to know what oh, like what's going on when this picture is taken. Like it looks like he's in like pain, gritting his teeth. Could be experiencing non ejaculation. <laughs> yeah, I play. I mean, wouldn't all of life be fucking painful if your teeth were like that? Like toothaches, dude. Are renowned for you should start posting. 
Oh, no, that's too mean. Never mind. I feel like he's suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> it, like, too I, for Kyle. <laughs> I can't get my head anywhere. Killer? Oh, wait. I'm talking about Blade. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, we got crossed up. Oh, here. my God. I just scrolled up to the teeth holes. I didn't see that. No, don't do that. I, oh, I was on the bottom image. I didn't know about the top image. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. talking about. Oh, like, my God, know, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh. This is the one oh. you're reacting to. He needs the $20,000 to get those teeth repaired, not for an RV. Yeah, I looked at this earlier and it said a close up of Blade. They don't look like they're in there very and well. And I, I didn't understand it was a streamer named Blade. I thought it was someone who had been hit in the head with a knife. Oh, no, dude. no. It's, if you look at that, it looks like someone just like fucking chopped yeah. off the top of the enamel. You're like, teeth. what is this? A whole channel of health problems caused by blades? Yeah, I looked at it for a second. I'm like, I don't want to see this and I moved on. He needs uh, some. I'm back some, to my breast pain. Toothbrush. Maybe some smart mouth. Ooh. Uh, think smart mouth is going to be enough. Yes. Uh, I think he start, needs to. Taylor, I think he needs I've asked dentist. this question before, <laughs> but I'm going to modify it just a little bit. Yeah. You're in the park. You're hanging out. To your left is Blade. To your right is a squirrel. Yeah. Which one would you prefer to randomly bite you? There's going to be a little blood. The squirrel has coronavirus. The, the, squirrel. Yeah. the squirrel, squirrel does not have coronavirus i might still prefer the squirrel i'm going i'm going with the squirrel and then i'm going to go to an urgent care get a couple quick team shots. squirrel team yeah, squirrel team, team squirrel team squirrel i need to think because this. i feel like a, a squirrel mouth is dirty but his like a human mouth oh human mouth is fucking disgusting i like my odds of my skin versus his teeth i, I think that no, 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 no. <laughs> he's like ah come on <laughs> right? oh scott <laughs> I shouldn't have gone for the cat. No. No, 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 no. All that happens is after he's bit you, there's teeth still left inside you. Oh, no. I'm injecting that shit. They got to like, take it out like a stinger. Yeah. It's actually worse. It's like a bee's fucking stinger. Oh, exactly. I got to go squirrel if that's the case. All teeth. That's squirrels, squirrels chewing all acorns around. all day long. Those those are hearty teeth. They're probably mm. clean. You ever, know, you ever see a beaver's teeth? Yeah, mm -hmm. they're all orange because they have iron in it. Yeah. Really? It's pretty cool. Is they yeah. really? I didn't know that. Yeah. That's how they're so powerful and strong. Beavers, nature's engineers. I I like watching. Is this uh, a fucking documentary now? Wait, keep, keep going. There's, there's going. like literally a, a documentary like called. Tell them about the tail. <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you guys know exactly. The Tell them how many about. chambers the dam has. <laughs> Their tails are brown. <laughs> Bobby, it has dozens of chambers. <laughs> but we can blow it all up with propane. Yeah, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> Like, you know exactly the genre of, like, nature documentary where it's not planet Earth. It's, like, the, the octopus, beavers, squirrel. And it's, like, one thing. Mm -hmm. And in every one of those, there's at least three or four researchers whose entire life is devoted to this one animal. And there's sure. always snide little remarks from them. And I noticed it the most in the beaver one on Netflix where they'll be like, frankly, the beaver is... <laughs> The most fascinating animal in existence. Because <laughs> it's the only one that builds its own environment. And the fish, the fish, there's idiot fish Terry. Devote your life to fish, retard. <laughs> his, his, the study of what he's devoted his life to is entirely contingent on my animals and what they decide to do in the habitat. And when you think about it, isn't that more impressive than an elephant? And it's like, <laughs> dude, stop having such an inferiority complex about studying beavers. I think they're cool too. I wouldn't have gotten drunk and started your <laughs> fucking documentary if I didn't think so. Other <laughs> the guy who's but... heard one too many pussy jokes in his career. He yeah. just he just <laughs> wants to study the animal he loves and be left alone. <sighs> yes, I study beavers. Never <laughs> enough funding. <laughs> no but fellowships. Wait, don't you want to see how many chambers are in it? It's funny you said that because he like literally made a point about how many chambers. Yeah, are. I know. I watched and, the same fucking and, documentary. Uh, I love beavers. Really? <laughs> okay. Of course. Yes. And it's thought that this one was passed down through up to 15 generations. That makes it older than the state of California. And it's like, yeah. there's no way for you to know any of this. How I've could you know? Those sticks aren't that old. It's because the layers. I've blown up a lot of beaver dams. It's no, maybe they can. Have you really? Yeah. Yeah. With Tannerite. What's the. Yeah, it makes you more of a terrorist than anything. Or for like a uh, purpose? Both. For Wait, what's the purpose? I could imagine fun. fun. <laughs> well, they're, they're they're blocking a creek. You know, they're damming up the creek, and now the the your land floods. Uh -huh. um, my dad's property has like creeks intersecting kind of throughout it, and they dam one of them up. And all of a sudden, now when there's a big uh, rain, uh, big 
area of the field would flood out or whatever. But also, it's fun blowing something up, you know. You yeah. Know, stuff that that stuff that bitch full of tannerite and Each. everything explodes and chamber. It's good stuff. It's also fun to shoot the beavers. Hmm. Hmm. I'm glad Taylor glad left before that? that came up. Ah. He's a big fan. <clears throat> Who doesn't like beaver? No one jumped on the blade suicidal thing, and it's still stuck in my head. Does anyone else I mean, see that as you, like an what underlying? Do you, where, do you, where do you hear that he's suicidal? Where, I made it up. Yeah, yeah, just to be clear. I thought you were just making a joke. No, I. this is a guy who's drank himself to diabetes. He's, and, and I'm influenced by Boogie, who's come on the show and said that his morbid obesity was a slow-acting suicide, which I think I heard from another heavy person, too. And... Uh, and I'm just looking at Blade and thinking that his slow alcohol thing is an acceptance of the fact that he's okay with a life that ends at, I don't know, 40. And I think he's just a man that really likes Jaeger. I don't know what, that's what we've got here. This is a guy who, um, you know. I think, I think Woody, your point requires a little bit more um, reflection, right? Like that's like step three. If you only want to think to step two. Does it does it mean that you want step three, or does it just mean you're not fucking paying any attention? Well, to you've that? accepted step three. I, I don't know. It's, uh, I, it's, it's just like you, I think you had that, another guy on here on the uh, PK. I can't remember his name. Shoe something. Shoe nice. Mm -hmm. Shoe nice. He's not. His 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 end looks very similar in my opinion. Boogie's much more of a thinker than Shoe nice seems to be. Uh, sure, but this guy, judging only from his teeth picture, uh, I I like, think of Blade as a thinker also. Really. Um, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Him. God, uh, I won't ask you to step in, but yeah, I, I think of Blade as a thinker too, and and just a guy who's accepted that. While most people wouldn't want to go here, he's like, "Fuck it, I'll go." Yeah, I I don't think he's um, thinking about much at all. I think he's he mm. stays drunk most of the time and sort of like falls forward through life, you know, just just mm. what you know. He's never struck me as a real. I mean, you know, what he was saying, the he opposite. Drinks, what and he's, saying, drinks and he drinks screams and he parties. So why is he doing it, Woody? If he's thinking, why? Why is he doing it? Yeah. Well, he's addicted and there's like a pleasure pain balance. And the pleasure he gets from taking the wrong road is worse than the pain. I'm sorry, the pain that he gets from taking the right road. And he's Ethan just likes. not looking the long term at the pain it takes to go to the right way. If that, maybe I didn't lay that out right, right? But they, I think like a, a, a lot of people make decisions to skip class, to go to class, etc. There's a short-term pleasure pain equation and a long-term one. And he's putting too much emphasis on the short one and has decided that if that leads to suicide, fuck it, I'll accept that. It's still the winning equation for him. Like there is no long-term pain. There's just death. Do you think with like losing a leg? That wouldn't be a wake the fuck up moment for most people. I've had that, like it would be for most people. Takes less alcohol to get drunk. <laughs> sure. I've had that same thought process. Like, how is this not his wake up call? How is this not his wake up call? You know, I could even understand it when it was the first little sore. It didn't look as serious to me as it did to everybody else. Um, and then it was a bigger sore. And then it's like multiple large, deep sores. And, you know, I'm like, whoa, all right. So this is real. Like, even to my untrained eye who keeps looking at this through a favorable light, this looks like foot losing shit. But, you know, that, that didn't wake him up. The teeth aren't waking I up. I do think it has to go a really long way before he'll actually lose the foot. I was watching, when, we, when I was in prison, I was watching, I think it was either people doing crocodile or, uh, or something similar. It's, it's this um, intravenous drug that they do in Russia a lot. And <clears throat> it, it makes your flesh rot. And this guy was had been shooting it, I think into his foot. But I just remember like he unbandages the foot and the doctor's like, it looks atrocious. Like imagine a foot that looks blackened and like splotchy and like rotten. Exposed bone? A yet. little. Okay. A little. Like, yeah. And the, the doctor's like, oh, oh, this is much better. And I'm like, what the fuck? Mm. She's she's like, yeah, I think you've got a good chance of keeping it. But stay off the crocodile, or am I right? And he he he's like this is when Alex decided to go score some more crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, she said I'm doing great. <laughs> yeah. I almost broke and Googled what a amputation diabetic foot would look like, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> the link goes right to our <laughs> only <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, but I might at some point just, I wonder like, 
What does a pre-amputation foot look like? How bad does it have to be for diabetes? I, I feel like an asshole talking about Blade like this, to be honest. Like, like, like I do I like Blade as a guy. Like, 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 all my interactions with him, like, like, I've really enjoyed his company. Independent, though, right? You can like a guy and still think his decisions are stupid. His, yeah, I think, I think that's where I am. Where, where, like, I wish he would... I'm almost saying these things because I wish that he would stop hurting himself. I am saying them that for that reason. Also because it's funny and that's my job to make people laugh. But I, I really don't like what he's doing here to himself. It's fucked. It's it's hard to watch. It's it's like 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 this is the and sort like, of like, you get some variation of this like WWF or something, right? Like WWE rather, right? Like where people mm -hmm. are fucking slamming their bodies into shit for the short term of like the money and the payoff and the fucking entertainment and whatever. And there's some there's some iteration of that here but like this feels worse right yeah something about like <clears throat> the kind of harm that he's doing to himself you know like like a broken leg would be so much better yeah this is infinitely irreparable. better some of this might be irreparable and, and like like i'm not a doctor you know we're, we, we 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 what <laughs> you know what, what i'm saying is like 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 every, everything we know about medical stuff sort of like comes from our internet and netflix uh, binging and stuff like that however like you've got to know that like the difference between an injury that's that's there because of an external source versus an internal one is vast you know like like amputation's a bad thing amputation's so a terrible thing amputation. yeah it doesn't grow back but point being for like but this this goes back to what he's point then like unless some sense, like, what, what do you do with this <laughs> like, like what do you do with this person is clearly clearly on a path to something there's nothing to be done. There's nothing to do. Sure, like, 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 like he's his own man. He can't do like he, unless he wants to. Like it's like with anyone who's doing coke or drinking, like or an alcoholic or a drug addict. Like you can send them to rehab. You can do all sorts of stuff. But until the day comes I, where they're like, I want this to stop. It nothing's gonna change. Even sure, food. What is, got, what's your? I don't know. What are you? What are you all's relationship? He's been on the show a couple times. A friend of yours? No, I, don't, I don't. I don't know that he's. If he has, it's he been has been six, on the show years. a long time ago. <clears throat> it's probably I, six I really or seven years. I hung out with him at like um, like two or three events or something like that, and and you know had a couple of private conversations. Um, I don't know. He, he gave me a blunt one time. We smoked that. Um, you know that that that's about it. And, and also, I think the real connection is that like we were all kinds of fans of his uh, back in the day. Like like we were sort of a community community of people who made this Call of Duty content, and everybody tried to pick their own flavor. You know, and and a lot some people really excelled at becoming their own flavor. And some of people, some people failed it. I think Woody and I were great at creating our own flavors of content, right? Like, like he had a very specific thing that he. No did. one else was in my space. Yeah. They really weren't it, it, the adult who could who could sort of educate you on adult things if you because you're sort of at a coming of age sort of thing. It's it's nice to get advice from somebody who's actually done these things, and you know some people went for goofy and zany and funny. And Blade had his own flavor with his thing. He was real chill and laid back. Hey guys, Blade here and. And he stabbed people with a knife. So his content is completely different than anybody else's. Everybody, the, the one thing that everybody did, he doesn't even do. And, uh, you know, so we're, we're kind of fans of his back there. I watched his content very regularly. And now to see, you know, like 10 years later, and he appears to have his teeth rotting out of his head. He appears to be very unhealthy. His, he's got some sort of necrosis on his foot. And he surrounded himself with people who think that's funny yeah and uh and, and so you know use it for content yeah it's 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 real fucked up it's it really is i i can't imagine being one of the people who watches the stream and laughs about it like like so, there's something about the separation of being here and discussing it but like i don't know i i see like i've seen clips of them like in his chat and like you can read the chat and it's and they're like poor jaeger in the wound and i'm like oh my god and they did they did poor jaeger in the wound did it help <laughs> yeah, it healed yeah. right up. <laughs> See that you probably feel foolish now. <laughs> what if he lit it on fire? <laughs> yeah, if he puts it like 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 Rambo, he fire, put a little gun uh -huh. in <laughs> That's how you heal it. It wouldn't be that bad. It'd kill any infection in there, it ca it cauterize it. Yeah. So, yeah but it wouldn't uh, make blood start flowing again. It stopped you, you the blood. Run out from of content when you run out of limbs then? With the model like that? Eventually well, you will if you have like if you're diabetic and you don't do anything about it. 
and you drink the sugariest liquid on earth. I think Taylor was the one that said he was going to be like Oscar Pistorius. He was going to be only use me Blade Runner. Yeah, only <laughs> use me Blade Legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and it, it, you know that that could be the next chapter here. Not what likely. if he became like a Paralympic athlete? And that, that's where this went, and it all came full circle. And he was like, you know, back in the day. <laughs> I had people left and right saying, put the bottle down, put the bottle down. Well, look at me now, world. Three gold medals. Beautiful wife. I'm the fastest man on blades. <laughs> <laughs> He's already got the social media presence. All, everything's already right. named. Only yeah, new blade. Already <laughs> <laughs> He's blade. He's on a box of Wheaties. Just Someone's got to Photoshop it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> He's just fucking fit. He's ripped. He's literally the fastest man alive. <laughs> Because I think those bl can those Blade Runner guys run faster oh, than just they, a regular they have super runner? Oh, Yeah, the only people who can compete with them none of them have come retention. In I haven't ejaculated in four years. I don't think they are. I run sixty-five say, miles per hour. But there's only no the way to know. Keep up. <laughs> I'm yeah. pretty sure that they're not only faster, Woody, but much, much. Faster. <laughs> <laughs> I, <can't. laughs> I think the world. I, I think the world speed record for um, using those blade legs is 37 miles an hour. Hmm. I mean, that's ridiculous. It sounds right. That does sound right. It's 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 almost unbelievable. I, I think not, not for me. <laughs> I can totally easily accurate, believe though. that. <laughs> you put a canyon in those things? <laughs> He's getting pulled over by the cops. He's going so fast. <laughs> <laughs> it happens a lot. Yeah. They're not taking him alive. <laughs> Even when he's stationary. He's got a knife or something on his head. Weapons down. It's like that Edward Scissorhand scene. <laughs> Before we get off of these train wrecks, I heard through the grapevine that you're still on Team Blade. Uh, shit. Blade is a troubled dude. Um, I don't, I don't know. Do you think he's guilty of hurting that girl? I don't know anything about that. Uh -huh. I'm not, I'm not informed enough to make a decision on that. But like, Blade has done enough under the influence of alcohol to give me a really good grasp of what kind of person he is. Granted, I've met him twice in real life. Mm -hmm. And I've seen like behind the scenes stuff that other people don't get to see. Good experience, but right? Right. But at the same time, it's like he 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 comes off as a dude that is spiraling out of control. Yeah. And I think a lot of his there's a saying that an you know a drunk man says what an honest man thinks. And a lot, every time I see a clip of Blade, I think about that saying. And you see him like throwing dogs and being racist and like kissing on other men's wives and things like that nature. And it's like just crossing lines over and over and over again. And in my head, I feel like Blade would think about these things if he was sober, but he's actually acting on them because he's drunk. And you're, to me, that makes him a piece of shit. You're winning me out. Like, throwing the dog, I hate it. Part of me is like, is that a mistake I could ever make? It's not a mistake I have ever made. Throw the cat, by the way. I'm on team cat thrower, just for the record. <laughs> yeah. I, can't say that. I have two cats now. Dude, if you threw your cat, she'd be perfectly fine. It'd be no different than her jumping off the fireplace mantle. I, I understand this. My cats jump off the refrigerator. PKA reference, but... you will understand. Cats are built for that. <laughs> <laughs> but... My cats will whoop my ass. <laughs> you can't, can't, it's, it's, I feel like I can, if I'm sitting on a couch and I just throw a cat like, you know, from the chest gently, right? So it, it arcs and lands on the other side of the coffee table. That cat's fine. That cat is 100% fine. He jumps farther than you just threw him all the time. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm joking, but I'm only half joking. I do feel like, and the dog he threw was the least athletic dog in the world, right? If if it was one of those 18-pound dog. agility dogs that, like, goes through the sticks on TV, then it might have landed on its feet in an athletic way. If it was one of those farm dogs that jumps and then Matrix style goes sideways through the fence that you see on Reddit, then that might have been a different thing. But that dog, that dog was a fucking slug a hot dog bun with two short legs and uh it was 
can't live without humans. It's an, yeah, I can't live without humans. It's an act of cruelty to throw that thing. And I, I have a hard time getting past it. Um, the girl thing, the video is so bad. I don't know what to make of it. Um, You're talking about the one in the RV at this point, right? Yeah, yeah. He was clearly drunk and trying to get with some girl who was too drunk to consent. Uh, but he was drunk too. And, and I, I have a, a difficult cult time. Like, while morally I know it's bad, I don't know, morally know what the punishment should be when two people are drunk. I, I'm very confused. It was sketch. It was sketch. Yeah, it was so, sus. I, I don't here, know. Here, here's my thing. Okay. He had a person in the RV with him tell him not to go back there. He did it anyway. Mm. <laughs> like Generally, like, if sober Woody was in that situation, you're sleeping, there's one bed, you go back there and sleep with the drunk girl. No. Even if you're tired. No, you, you, you sleep in a chair, you lay on the floor, you sleep on the, the sofa, you find, you find another means. Yeah. That where he should have been. I don't know, bro. I, fuck. He's an alcoholic, right? He's like a legit alcoholic whose body is degrading. It's going horribly. He can't stop himself. He's making bad decisions. He's doing things that hurt people. That's all true. I, here's here's my call call yeah. to arms. Can people please stop donating for this guy to drink? Well. Is, gr granted, I granted I live my life off donations, right? Right. And I'm the I'm the person that shouldn't be saying this, but at the same time, I, I've watched so many men in my life drink themselves to death, and they don't need motivation to do it. And like. I don't know how to really say this. It's like it hurts me to watch somebody drink themselves to death because I've lost a lot of like prominent men in my life from alcohol. It's a disease called cirrhosis of the liver, mm -hmm. which you eventually get. And it is a painful, slow death that I don't wish upon anybody. He's and on that's his way. the reason I, and that's the reason I, I'm I'm making this statement like please stop doing this to him. If he does it on his own to himself. At least you can have a clear conscience that you didn't help push toward him. That's a good point. Yeah, dude. Bro. I think Wings is the alcohol's making. I meant to say Blade. I think the alcohol's making Blade a bad person because I, I've seen the best side of him. It's not as easy for me to throw him away as I think it would be someone who spent less time with him. And it's not like we Blade's spent a lot of time together; just like a couple weekends. Blade's a chill dude, like when he's sober. Yeah. Blade's the kind of guy that would have your back and you know he's got your back. But like Drunk Blade's a whole different person. But is Drunk Blade who Blade really is? It you can't want it enough for someone else to clean it up, right? Like you can't wish somebody else sober. You can't wish somebody else healthy. They have to want this on their own. Um so I'm not I'm you know, still but, a fat fuck shit. Say it again. I feel you. I'm still a fat polish, and I had my stomach cut out. <laughs> uh, you, you can't, you can't do it on someone else's behalf. But I also, you know, I don't want to throw him away just yet. You know, I, I've seen what he can be. That's that. But, but at the same time, you've also seen what he's done, and like so, at some point, you got to throw him away. I threw him away when he started being racist again. I, I, I gave him a pass on the first time he was like openly racist, but the second time he did it. No, you don't get a second pass. You know, I have a problem with him. I have a problem with that. I, th I think I have a bigger problem than average with the way he hits on other people's wives. Bro. Hits on him. He, he, he literally makes out with them. Yeah. Like, I mean, that stuff dude is... That took it in. Dude, dude got a divorce over it. Like he, mm -hmm. li like, he altered the course of somebody's life in a negative way. Like, that's... I, I, you know, I've only seen it on TV. I don't know, close to a lot of alcoholics, but you see afterwards, they're like, dude, the devastation and destruction that was in my wake was formidable. It was a big deal. I created big problems for people, and I'm sorry. That's where I feel like Blade needs to get to. Blade, the shit you're doing to people and dogs for that matter is wrong, and it's serious, and these consequences are forever. You're doing some real harm. And 
Why? Because you won't stop drinking? Like, get your shit together. So, that... I'm mad yeah, at I him. Just, I, I just, I just, I, I didn't want to pull you out there, but I just, like, I just don't see how you could fence it on Blade. I understand, like, you, huh. you see the good side of him, but at the same time, it's like, I'm sure people give the same lecture to to it with me. It's like Wings is a terrible toxic friend. Why do you ever talk to him? Blah 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 this blah. This is what it's. At the same like time, I'm not so throwing dogs and like hitting on people's wives and being Still think that Blade is cool when he's a degenerate alcoholic who. One second, has assaulted wings. women on camera multiple times, thrown a dog, and constantly says the N word. Lol. Kinda feel like that's unforgivable, <laughs> no? Let me let me read that. I got a donation. I want to read it to you, Wings. Mm -hmm. I fail to see how you, he's talking to me, still thinks that Blade is cool when he's a degenerate alcoholic who's assaulted women on camera multiple times, thrown a dog, constantly says the N word. Kinda feels like that's unforgivable, no? Dude. Yeah, I hear you. And, and and you didn't even mention, I guess you said assaulted women, but married women like adds it adds to it to me. Mm -hmm. Um it's fucked up and the damage he does is real and the consequences are huge. And he don't give a shit. Like he's drunk on some RV somewhere. Maybe I'm giving him too much credit. I, I keep hoping that there's this old blade inside who's you know, will someday reemerge. I don't know. He's, get your shit together, Blade. You're going to find no one's on your team anymore. So. Whatever happened to his, his partner in crime, Ice Poseidon? Like, what happened to that dude? He had a falling off quick. I'm uh, out of the loop on that, but it's my understanding that Ice Poseidon decided to clean up his act and try to curate a kinder audience and not be so... Mm, scummy anymore, <laughs> you know. Uh, but I don't, but I don't know. I haven't watched his content for a bit.